Hello everyone, welcome to Ms McLennan's Art Room YouTube channel and today we're going to do lesson five and that's a great toilet roll challenge. So I've got lots of toilet rolls here that I've been collecting and we're going to make something fun out of them. So we might, maybe we'll do some binoculars or maybe um, we'll make a musical instrument. But I think we're going to make a sculpture. So you're going to try and get really creative and think about what you can do with your toilet roll. So today I'm going to go through the rules and I'm just going to give you a couple of hints on how you could join them. So the rules are you need to use toilet rolls as the main part of your construction and you can use at least four. So at least four but you can use more. So you can use as many as you like. Size is no problem. You can make it as big or little as you like. You can use other materials but they have to be recycled materials. So I've been collecting lots of things since I've been at home. So things like this, I've got lids, um, I've got bag, uh, plastic orange bag, plastic out of biscuits. So I've got a whole tub full of things that I've been saving. The other rule is no painting or drawing on it. And I know you want to do that, but no painting or drawing. You have to do detail using other things. So you have to use other materials, recycled materials, or you could cut shapes out. It has to be all your own work. Your parents can help you get materials and get tools, but you have to do the design and make it yourself. And it has to be submitted by next the end of next week, which is the 22nd of May, so next Friday. Now, here's one I did, and this is one I made out of mainly toilet rolls. You can see I used a little bit of a box here and some bamboo uh, forks from some takeaway. So that's one idea, but you can't copy my idea. You have to come up with your own idea because the judges are going to be looking for original ideas. That means something that's a bit different. So... With your tools that you've collected, so you'll need things like scissors, stapler, um, you'll need some sticky tape, a texture pen, and maybe a knife, and other collected materials. So I'm just going to give you a few ideas for some joining. So the first one is how to join a roll onto a box or how to join it onto another roll. So what you can do is you can cut out the end. So cutting pieces around the end of your toilet roll, like so. And then if you push those back, you, it makes tabs. And you can use those tabs to glue onto something else. So squash them nice and flat. You could put glue there, glue that onto there like that. Um, you could probably also use a bit of sticky tape because glue and sticky tape works well. Don't use too much sticky tape or tape. I want you to think about the best ways you can join things without using too much tape because I know that lots of people like using lots of tape and I don't want you to use up all your mum and dad's sticky tape. So another idea I came up with was to cut sections out of the end of the toilet roll and then you join that like that. Now you could join using a stapler so that staple will actually fit into that. So I didn't press it hard enough, I'll have another go. There we go. So you could staple it on or you could glue it on or you could tape it on. So that's one joining technique that you could use as well. Another technique you can use is you could um, cut a hole in the box or cut a hole in another roll to join. So you could do that by tracing around it. So trace around the roll and you could use a little kitchen knife like I've found and just cut cut it out very carefully. You might like if you're in prep you might need to get some help with this one or you could even use scissors and 
and that should fit in there now, like so. So that's another technique. Um, this is the joining technique my husband thought of. He, if you were collecting some bigger rolls as well, but you still got to have your four toilet rolls, you could use a bigger roll and a smaller roll will actually tuck into that. So that's another idea. Also, cutting toilet rolls. You can cut them up and change the shape. So I cut this one up and made it into a flower. So to do that, cut right to the end nearly. And these are just some of the ideas that I thought of but I think you guys could come up with lots of other ideas. So I would go right round that. And I'm going to do this really super fast. And then you would bend those out and that would create that sort of flower-like effect. Okay, so uh, you can also cut up a toilet roll. So there's one that I cut up cut down there. I might use that cardboard in a different way. This one here, they were just some cut up pieces of toilet roll there. On your worksheet, you might see there's a photo of some uh, sculptures that have got scrunched up toilet paper. So these, this has just scrunched the toilet roll up. Sorry, toilet roll, not toilet paper. Don't use all the toilet paper. And scrunch that up and you can make it into sort of some sort of weird shape that you can use maybe to join that so there's a few ideas for you get started go and find some toilet rolls and i'm really looking forward to what creative and crazy ideas the camp hill kids come up with so go for it and i'll see you all soon bye